in the heart of the Himalayas, where clouds brush the hills and rivers carve deep valleys. This year, nature turned fierce. Torrential rains swept across Darjeeling and Nepal, triggering devastating floods and deadly landslides. Homes vanished. Roads disappeared. And many lives were lost in moments. Early October 2025, what should have been a calm retreat of the monsoon became a disaster. In hills, record rainfall burst riverbanks and unleashed mudslides across the hills. The Balso and Tista rivers flooded low-lying plains, while landslides buried homes in Mirik, Karsiong, and Kalimpong. Across the border, Nepal's hilly districts faced the same fate, roads, bridges, and villages cut off for days. The answer lies in a changing climate. Warm ocean waters in the Bay of Bengal sent massive moisture plumes northward. When these clouds hit the Himalayan slopes, they released torrents of rain, far beyond normal levels. Within 48 hours, some areas received over a month's rainfall. Heavy rainfall alone didn't kill, we did, by disturbing the balance of these fragile hills. Unplanned construction, slope cutting, and deforestation have left the hills bare and unstable. Natural drains are blocked. Retaining walls crack under pressure. When the soil can't absorb water, the slopes give way. What should have been gentle streams become rivers of mud. Landslides are not random. They are signals. Warnings from mountains we've overbuilt and overburdened. But Darjeeling's story is not unique. Across India's hill towns, from Shimla to Gangtok, Nainital to Meghale, the pattern is the same. Rapid urbanization, fragile slopes and drying springs are making these regions equally vulnerable. The Himalayas are warming faster than the global average. This means more moisture, more intense rainfall and faster glacial melt. In 20 years, the number of extreme rainfall events in eastern Himalayas has nearly tripled. And with every downpour, fragile slopes turn deadly. Every flood washes away lives, and months later, the same region faces drought. The tragedy is not just the destruction. It's the wasted opportunity. What if the same flood water, that destroyed, could be used and stored? The solution lies in slowing water, not fighting it. Check dams and contour trenches across hill slopes can reduce erosion and recharge groundwater. Percolation ponds, infiltration galleries, and recharge wells can capture monsoon water before it escapes downstream. Rooftop rainwater harvesting, simple, low-cost, can sustain families through the dry season. Even if a small share of this year's flood water were captured and stored, it could go a long way towards easing Darjeeling's dry season water shortages and improving year-round supply in Nepal's rural hills. Preventing landslides begins with good water management. Reforest slopes with deep-rooted species. Use proper slope drainage and bioengineering techniques. Bamboo crib walls, geotextile covers, and vegetated buns. Restore natural springs and streams so that water percolates instead of collapsing the hill. Techbury and similar initiatives show that engineering and ecology must work together. With GIS mapping, rainfall modeling, and smart drainage planning, we can design mountain towns that absorb shocks, not amplify them. Floods and landslides are not just natural disasters, they're nature's feedback. If we heal the hills, the hills will protect us. The water that destroyed lives yesterday can sustain them tomorrow. Let's respect every drop. Let's rebuild with wisdom, not walls. Because in every mountain scar lies a lesson. And in every flood's fury, the promise of renewal. Local knowledge, community maintenance and soon-to-be-published hydrological studies will determine which mix of measures delivers the best, long-term solutions. Techbury, Engineering Sustainable Water Futures Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel.